Hello and welcome. In today's video, I would like to talk about some money-making methods designed to help you start out your league. As a result, these methods do not require a high investment. In most cases, they don't require any investment at all, aside of your time. And they're designed to be things that you can do while you are doing other types of content, progressing your atlas, etc. So the first thing that you can do to make some good money early league is you can level up gems. Now, I know this sounds really simple. Of course, you're going to be leveling up gems. You need to use them. But instead of leveling up whatever gem you need for your specific build, think about what the current meta is and what a lot of people are going to want to purchase and level that instead. The reason to do this is because whatever skill gem is in the most demand is going to sell for a lot more. Or if you can afford it, you should do things like enlightens and empowers. The total profit per will vary from league to league. The exact gem that you want will vary from league to league, but this is always a very consistent way to make money. And all it's really going to cost you is a few wisdom scrolls to get started. You can use, you know, increased experience weapons later, Maloney's, all that fancy stuff. Or you can just pick up a few white three socket weapons off the ground and you can spend some wisdom scrolls, transmutes, whatever putting some skill gems in them, and you're good to go. Now, the second method kind of ties into this in the sense that it's something you want to be doing while you are doing other things rather than something you go out of your way to do, and that is master content. I see so many people who will get to red maps and they will have dozens and dozens of white and yellow master missions because they just didn't do any of the master missions until red maps. You get white tier master missions in white maps. You can only use them in white maps. You get yellow tier master missions in yellow maps. You can only use them in yellow maps. Do not save these missions for some future hideaway. Use them early in the league. Use them to get profit. Things like Nico to delve for some fossils can be extremely profitable. You can sell a Cinder Swallow or Devouring Diadem off of Katarina. Lots of ways to boost your money gain early. That again is pretty passive. All you're doing is a master mission in the course of your normal mapping. Now, the final method pertains to extremely early league, in my opinion, more so than anything else. I wouldn't necessarily consider doing this past the first couple days. Uh, it may, if you start late, be something worth doing, but I'm kind of hesitant because as prices shift over time, this will become less and less profitable. But you can also purchase and roll flasks. Now, if alterations remain cheap and there's a high demand for flasks, this will be extremely profitable. In general, though, I found the profits tend to fall off because a lot of people also roll flasks. Now, what do you want to roll? You want to roll things that people can't easily beastcraft for themselves. So an alchemist's Quicksilver Flask of Adrenaline is one of my favorites. People want to go fast with a Quicksilver Flask, and they want to go extra fast, especially if they're a Pathfinder and can afford the reduced duration from Alchemists. So Alchemists Quicksilver Flask of Adrenaline will be really good money. They consistently sell for 10 times my investment in them. And secondly, I have found that Life Flasks of Staunching with some sort of recovery mod, be it instant recovery, increased recovery rate on low life, increased recovery rate, etc. All those prefixes, people don't want to roll them for themselves, so they instead would rather buy the flask. Certain leaks, enduring mana flasks, are good money. This has been a little bit more miss than hit recently, and oftentimes you can get away with rolling things like a jade flask of reflexes because, again, this is something that you can't just easily beastcraft on, and it is something that people are going to use. So I hope these money-making tips have been helpful. I hope you found some new ways that you can make your seed money as you're starting your league. Remember, minus the flasks, these are all things you do on top of your normal gameplay. Yes, you'll have to stop your mapping to roll the flasks, but it shouldn't take too long. It shouldn't cost too much as Alts are often around 10 to 1 chaos early leap, and once you get it going, you'll have your currency, you'll have a few exalts you can get going, you can crush your maps all the way up to tier 16s, and proceed on with your day. So thank you for watching. As always, stay sane, Exile.